This is the class activity of net force. So the purpose of this activity is to practice calculating the net force acting on an object and to determine whether that object is accelerating or not. So you can see here, of course, I'm always going to place uh, this video uh, on this assignment. This assignment covered balance forces, unbalanced forces, and free body diagrams. So uh, you can see I've posted uh, those links uh, for any help that you might need on this. All right, so you can see below that there are uh, objects with forces acting on them. Determine the net force acting on each object. Uh, then determine whether the forces are balanced or unbalanced and uh, whether that object is accelerating or not. Uh, the squares won't turn green, so you have to get the entire question correct in order for it to count. Um, so let's just take a look at this one. And it gives you the instructions again, right? So all these instructions are the same. Uh, I did this just because I want every, uh, you to have access to this picture. So I'm looking at this one, right? So this one should be fairly easy. Um, so calculate the net force. Uh, well, actually, you know what? I'll go down to number three. Number three is probably a little more... Uh, just, just in the spirit of this. So uh, on this one, I've got two forces acting on it. I've got two newtons to the right, seven newtons to the left. So I, I know that the difference is going to be five newtons. All right, five newtons. The direction, well, I'm going to have five newtons going to the left, right? That's, that's like the, the net force acting on it. Now, are the forces balanced? Now, you should be able to just look at this and say, well, no, the forces are going to be unbalanced because they, they don't cancel each other out. I have a net force left over. And if the, is the object accelerating? Well, if you need help, like there is a hint down here. And the hint's the same for all these questions. Uh, if the forces are unbalanced, there is a net force and the object will be accelerating. If the forces are balanced, the net force is zero and the object will be at a constant velocity or at rest. So uh, this object will be at a uh, will be accelerating because the forces are balanced. Notice now that I got it correct, the entire thing turned green and now I'm getting points for that. Uh, so you're going to do that. There are 11 problems. They get a little trickier down at the bottom because I've got multiple air, uh, multiple forces on the uh, same direction and, you know, some going up, some going down. Uh, so once again, this is the class activity, then calculating the net force.